Hi, I'm Lewis and I built CoinFlash and I'm here to tell you a little bit about it and why I think it is secure. So CoinFlash automatically invests your spare change from credit and debit card purchases into cryptocurrency. It does this by counting up your change accrued on your card and then querying Coinbase to make a payment for that amount on a weekly or monthly basis. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was your banking card. So on the account settings page, you, it asks you to enter your bank information and you'll have different credit or debit or accounts associated with that bank. And this is what we use to count up your spare change. So the first thing uh, I want you guys to know is that we do not charge that bank uh, to buy cryptocurrency. We actually don't, CoinFlash does not have authorization to charge that um, credit or debit card. When you enter your username and password, CoinFlash is only requesting transactional access to your data through the API. So it's only requesting access to uh, look at your transactions. Uh, and when we do get these transactions, CoinFlash only keeps two months of credit card transactions or debit card on its server. So you notice that on your main page, you'll never have more than two months of data. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about was Coinbase. So CoinFlash uses your Coinbase account to buy cryptocurrency. Uh, the credit card information you entered is just used to sum up your purchases to the nearest dollar. And then that number is sent over to Coinbase and all payment payments go through them. And the payment method we use is actually whatever payment method you have set up on Coinbase, be it a bank or debit card or even PayPal. And you could actually pick in CoinFlash which payment method you want CoinFlash to use from Coinbase. Uh, when CoinFlash does request access to your Coinbase account, you're granting access to CoinFlash to buy cryptocurrency. Um, you're also granting access for CoinFlash to take some money from your wallet. And there is um, a limit on that, and that's $5 a week. And you'll notice that when you grant access. And um, th I think this is an important thing to understand. Uh, the reason why we ask for that is because we want to be able to charge you um, the $1 monthly fee that we're going to take from your wallet and put into CoinFlash's wallet. Uh, it's not. It's actually at $5 because we uh, in the future, I plan on adding, adding additional features and I'd like to be able to charge more for those features. And these are obviously, these are features that you would pick, you know, you would opt into if you wanted to use those features. Um, and I think it's important that you understand why the limits are there. I th it was put there for security reasons by Coinbase. Just so, uh, you know, I think one important thing to understand is in the unlikely event that we are, that someone is hacked, the worst that could happen is $5 would be taken from your account. Um, for both Coinbase and Plaid, the two APIs we use, we only store access tokens on our server. We don't store usernames or passwords. So, and um, these token requests only work when they're coming from CoinFlash's server. And uh, this is how OAuth2 works. And if you want to know more information about that, I'm putting it in the description below. Uh, and finally, for American customers, Coinbase is FDIC insured. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit more information about that below too. And uh, that's about it. I hope you know this helps you guys making you feel more secure about using CoinFlash. And if you have any other questions, you can hit me up in the comments or send me an email. Thanks.